The main pain point that everyone has had ever since the beginning is editing the settings file. Some don't know how, others don't have the right tools, others just get flabbergasted and look at it and just close it and just don't use it at all, or just throw in the default. Truth is that the settings file has so much potential. You can customize the dashboard to your liking. You can make the dashboard the way you want it. Uh, you can, not just not just colors, right? It's not just about coloring it and um, adding your name or an image. It's literally making it the way it works. So you can change timings. You can change colors in the future. Yes, but you can change the content that you see when you first launch it. They're like maps, how you how you see the maps, how they zoom in, like, like so many things you can change on the dashboard. And ever since the beginning that I created the Logan dashboard, I didn't want people editing the dashboard. Okay, not because I didn't want them to edit it. It's like you download dashboard, you can do anything you want, you can edit it if you want to. It's just that editing a dashboard can be very dangerous. You can click a wrong button or destroy something, you know, and you have to re-download it and do, all, do, all, do it all over again. So I wanted an easy way for someone to change some settings and they would be available to the dashboard, myself as a creator, to the dashboard and use those settings and adapt the dashboard according to those settings. The easiest way to do that was using a JSON file. So a JSON is a specific format file that is, uh, it's made up of keys and values. So key is whatever key I say it is, so it's like the alert delay, or analytics, or your name, and the value is whatever that value is. It could be a number, it could be a string, so a name, an actual name, or it could be an array of numbers, whatever. And that was the easiest way, and at first there was like five, six, ten different options, but now I don't even know how many options are in there. I haven't counted. And we have sim-specific options, and it's just getting daunting. And I'm okay with it, I created it, right? And there are many people on uh, that are using on discord and, and they're helping other people but it's always it's always a recurring topic the settings file it's just annoying you know it's it's it, it's just for, it's a it's a pain point for many for many people so today i'm gonna launch and actually it's already on online but i will share the url with you guys it is a settings file configurator it is a first step in the right direction. And I say first step because this tool will be free for everyone. It's not connected. Again, it's not connected to any membership level or anything. It's free and open for everyone that uses the Levy dashboard to use this tool. Um, and it's a first step because this is the first iteration. It's like 0 0.04 version or something. It's just something that we built uh, starting this week, actually last week, built it through. And today we're at a point where it's actually usable and it's it's decent. It is not at the final stage, so I need to. Um, um, Jorg and I will work on it and add a bit more uh, uh, usability stuff, like making it, it easier to add a color, for instance, or uploading images to your dashboard and how that's saved. So there's there's a lot of stuff that will be done, but for now, for now, it is there, and it's an easy way for everyone to update their settings and just grab a file and drop it in SimHub. So it does have some manual aspect, but that's something that I think everyone can do. You can just copy a file and move it into a folder. But editing that file was always a pain point. And what made me even more want to create this is, recently I saw that after the video I created regarding the 2.6 version of the dashboard, I mentioned on stream that you can use any text editor. And people started using WordPad. WordPad is not a text editor in the sense of code. It's you know, doc editor. So when you save it, it adds a whole bunch of stuff in the document. It's not plain text. So that was my mistake. But I realized that there's no way to predetermine or predefine what people are going to do. So I said WordPad. I actually, I don't remember saying WordPad. I know I said Notepad, but you know, WordPad, Notepad, people get confused. They use whatever they find, and it's not always the right tool to do that. So how do you get around it? Well, I we created a tool that you don't need to edit anything anymore. It's a web interface. And I will show it to you right now. Let me switch over to the coding window. Let me drag in the, where is it? I make it a bit smaller. Uh, again, please excuse the crudeness of the UI. It's not perfect yet. There it is. Uh, even if I make it bigger, it won't change anything. 
All right. So as promised, it's the Lovey Dashboard Settings File Configurator. It's version 0.4. It's again, it's very, very early on. But the functionality that I wanted to build into this, it's there. So when you first download the Lovey Dashboard, Tiago, uh, good evening. Yes, I was about to say good morning for some reason. Good evening, man. Um, so the Settings File Configurator. Um, when you first download the, the dashboard, you also need to download a settings file. You don't need to do that anymore. Forget that. You can do that if you want to. You can keep using the one you already have. I don't care. If you don't have one, and this is going to go into the new documentation coming next week. So you download the dashboard and you come straight to this site. You can still use the dashboard without any settings file. You don't requ it's not required to use a settings file, but if you want to take advantage of the dashboard, you should. So now you come to the website. I will give you the URL. You can actually see the URL, but the URL, an easy URL is LSR, lovely sim racing, lsr.gg slash configurator. You can all go there and you can try it. It's already working, but I'll show you right now what exactly there are two things you can do here. And that's kind of important. So the first thing is start a new file. All right. So you, you just downloaded the, you just downloaded the, um, the dashboard. You don't have a settings file anywhere. Start a new file. Clicking on this will take you to a really nice and long and obnoxious form. We're working on it. We'll make this thing a bit shorter. Fine. But everything is in here. And you'll notice that there are predefined predefined options. So there are things that you don't need to enter. So your name, it's optional. You don't need to put that. A color will be predefined default. It's the, it's the lovely blue color. Your logo, you need to do that. LFM, pit skill. But others are actually required, so there's something in here. But every option in the settings file is over here. And currently it's just text fields and for numbers, but mostly text fields, right? So you do have like a few numbers here you can change, but they're all text fields. And then this is all the generic. Let me just go to the top. So you have all the generic. So everything we discussed in the previous video, it's in here, but it's a UI now. Um, so you have everything, uh, every option here. So these are the generic options. You can change them, even the hotkeys, you can just type them in and whatever you want. And then we also have the sim specific options for ACC. What do you want to have here, right? AC, what do you want to have here? Everything you want. So once you, you know, you, you, you type in what you want to be, you know, for your name and your number and whatnot and colors and everything, all you need to do is just hit download the file. The file will be downloaded and where is the file? It's in my, actually, let me move it here because downloads got more than enough. And if I open the file now, you'll see that it's not as complicated as the other one. It's just a simple JSON file. This is it. It's got all the information. It doesn't have any help in there. You don't need it. Um, but everything is here. You can still edit this file if you want to. But again, you don't need to. And the good part now is I can just take that file and drop it into SimHub JavaScript extensions and you're done and you're good. One thing that we've done though, so this is how you edit everything. I'm not going to go through every option. The, the, the options here are exactly the same that I went through on the uh, previous video that I presented 2.6.0. You can go watch that for every single option, what it does. But right now I'm just showing you an easy way to do it. But what's more is if you're on the homepage, you already have a settings file. You already have a previous settings file and you want to make a change. How do you manage that? Well, we already have the upload here, which is, I think, pretty cool. So you just hit choose file. These are my screenshots for all the Wednesdays. Um, and you uh, scroll to where do I have a file? Um, where do I have? Oh, let's go to this PC program files I go to sim. I'm just going to pick up the pre my last one, the, the one that I actually had. So this is a backup file. So this is a JSON file. It's over there. Let me show you what that file looks like, just so you know, because it's a previous file. It's actually not, it doesn't need to do that. I don't need to do that. I have the file here. It's loaded. I chose the file and hit upload. When I hit upload, you'll see that all the options here are already predefined. So I got my LFM ID, my Pitskill ID. Everything is the way I want it. It's saved in there, right? Shift F4 instead of Shift D and Shift A. I've got my ACC settings here. So at this point, I can do anything. I can, I can make any change that I want. 
lap review turn it off i don't want to have or i want lap review on too you can also use the little arrows which are predefined with limits so you can't go outside of the scope i can do that if i hit download file it will again download the file and i can use this new file so this way you're not losing any of the settings that you already had created so in the future like even if i come here and i actually choose a file an old one um where do i have i think i have something in here uh yeah so this is like a 2.5.2 .2 version of the file an old one i can hit open upload it and you'll see it'll it doesn't have a lot of stuff because these things didn't exist back then but it does have some pre predefined things that I already had in there um i can like the lap tire reset is a it's not shift a whatever you had it will it will fill in the fields and leave blank for everything else so in the future if i come out with a brand new uh, option for the settings file you don't need to edit your settings file you come to this website you select your settings file you upload it you check the new what's new here and what's not you hit download you replace the old file and you're done so this is a visual a really easy way to edit the settings file so no more hacking at json files no more trying to figure out uh, what does this thing do oh, i missed the comma or i didn't put the quote where i needed to put it it's all here it is all here i hope you guys like it it was this is actually quick and dirty i will say this it is quick and dirty there are a, a lot of things that we want to update so there are things that we want to do also one thing that's important here for instance if this file is required and there is no you haven't added it it will actually not let you save the file so in essence it will it will try and always have a healthy file for you so if if, if something is required you can't download it unless you actually input a value if you put a wrong value it will let you know that that is a wrong value so it's kind of it's kind of a safe way to edit the, the file anyway and that's pretty much it. That is the settings file configurator. You can go and visit it now. You can use it today, right of this moment, with any version of the dashboard, even the old ones. They're all compatible with this version, although this one is specifically done for 2.6.0. Um, so it's ready made for Wednesday. But you can use the settings file configurator for the version 2.5.2. It's the same thing. It will have probably more options, which won't work on that, but no one cares, right? So you just visit lsr.gg slash configurator. And I think I have an action. Let me check this out. This is going to be cool if it doesn't work. Configurator. If I wrote it correctly, it should give you the link as well. If I didn't, it won't work. Oh, but guess what? It does work. So, go on. Try it out. Let me know. It's a lot easier. Um, it's a lot easier than... Uh, and for me, it didn't really make a difference because I don't care. I, I, I created it. But I know that it's, it is a pain point. And... Again, this is a very uh, crude version of what the end result will be. Um, there are things we're going to work on. We're going to work on the UI, obviously, and the UX. Um, we're, going to, we're going to work on editing the actual field. So uh, one thing that I want to add is for your color. I want to have a little color wheel, too. So you can just click on it and directly select the color you want. Um, maybe for, the, uh, for your logo, having an option to find the file and select it. And when you download it, it would download the file with it. So you just drop the file, settings file, and the image in the same place. There are all these little things that I want to do. I want to put instructions here for links to your LFM uh, page where you can get the ID. So there's a lot of stuff that we want to do. Um, here, one, two, three, it wouldn't be a text box. It would be, you know, a, a radio box. So you just select. Um, perhaps here for uh, dark mode where you select which dark mode you want colors. It would be screenshots of the dashboard and you just click on the screenshot the color you want. There are, there are just a million things we want to do, but we don't have time. We need to ship, and we need to ship these things fast because I know these are pain points. So we're just putting this out there. You get to use it. We get feedback. We make it better. But until then, you guys can use it. And that was the lovely dashboard settings file configurator in a UI. I hope you guys like it. I mean, I really hope you guys like it.